Hey guys, welcome back to the print room. I'm Gerald with Breakthrough Clothing. Today we're gonna do some quick showing of DTF actually. We're doing the DTF on our GTX, right? Normally we do, we do have Mamakis now, but we get a lot of people that ask questions about, hey, you know, I got the GTX, can I do the DTF on it? What film do you use? What ink do you use? And so forth. So we used to do DTF on our GTXs, like I said, before we got the Mamakis. But what we're doing right now is we're showcasing Firebird's new IHP Instant Hot Peel, right? So you don't have to wait anymore. You can just go straight to, uh, you can just peel it right away, which is nice. Their other peel, the easy peel that they had, I thought that was a really good one. You couldn't do it hot, but if you just waited maybe like five seconds, you could do it when it's warm or a cold peel. And I felt that, you know, the powder came off of that very easy when you flick the sheets. So we're going to see how well the powder comes off of these sheets, right? And then we're gonna see how easy that they peel with this new instant hot peel. The second thing we wanna show you is that Firebird for their DTF, they have, I don't know exactly what to call it, but they have this specialty where when you do DTF and you use their CMYK and white ink, right? The back of the film, the back of the powder, the back of the ink, the back of the image will change and start to turn yellow so you know that it's fully cured. So you know that that powder has melted and fully cured. So it doesn't affect your graphic at all because it's on the back, but it allows you to know that once it goes through your drying system, whether it's on the heat press, whether it's through a conveyor, whether it's through a shaker, that you know that that has fully cured. It's almost like that spackle where you put it on and it's pink and then when it fully dries, it turns white and you know that it's dry and ready to sand. This is almost like a similar idea. Now, once again, you have to be using their CMYK and white ink. On our GTXs, we do use Firebird, CMYK, and white. So we'll be able to show you this new special thing that they have. So I got two printed. So we're actually gonna show it on two of our conveyors where one is under cured and the other one is cured properly. So you can see how one turns yellow and the other one doesn't. So let me just powder this up real quick. I'm gonna flick it off, see how easy it comes off. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, powder's only stuck really to where the graphic is, it's not around any of the fine lines. You can see we have some fine lines, some thick lines in here. So very little bit at the bottom here, maybe I just didn't flick it, but I think this film is, is good in that aspect. I've definitely seen film really bad where the static is bad and it doesn't want to come off. It comes off with not too much trouble. So that's a, that's a plus. And then we're also going to transfer these once they come out onto a shirt and I'll show you what settings that I use. Also with putting these on, I am only doing that because we don't ever run DTF through our conveyors because these have a lot of airflow through it and the films fly up in the air. So, I am putting these on, but please don't do this because when they come out the other side, they're extremely hot because they're metal. So please don't do this. It's just for this video to test, just to test it going through. Because like I said, we normally use the Mamaki then through our shaker dryer. That's with our DTF machine. So please don't put this on there. These are extremely hot and it'll burn your hand when it comes out the other side, but we will put on a use a t-shirt or something to take them off. This one will be coming out shortly. So clearly I have the machine that I just put it on over here at a little bit lower temperature. It's only at uh, 109 Celsius. So it should not cure as much, but this one here is coming out. So I'm gonna just grab this shirt so I don't burn myself. Whoops, that's all right. We can see that we have yellow. Yeah, well, now we see areas that are still white. Now those areas are areas that are white. So if you are doing a white graphic only, it will not turn yellow in the backing. It does need that CMYK in front of it to know. So, but now I know that like, look, if all of this is cured properly, clearly the pandas face and, and the base down here is cured also. Now, if you're doing a white graphic, literally just only, 
then you're not gonna be able to tell and you're gonna have to look. We can start coming down here and we'll grab out the other side. I would put a CMYK job before it and a CMYK job after it. And then this would allow you to know like, hey, if those two CMYK jobs cured properly, then the one in the middle cured, you know. Things happen sometimes, right? Somebody could bump into a machine, accidentally turn the heat off, lower the heat, maybe something gets unplugged, who knows? So I know a lot of times we can look, we can see, hey, I know that this is cured properly. I know that it feels right. But when you have employees, when they're, you know, you might be a bigger shop, you might have uh, some new employees. It's kind of just like a good reassurance of, hey, I know that this cured properly. Like, I know that all my settings were right and something didn't happen. You know your employee knows that. So this one's coming out right now, so we can show you. So we can see here that this one is fully white still on the backing. And if I touch it, I can say, you know something, that's not fully cured. But it feels somewhat cured that maybe a new person, or like I said, a new employee might be like, oh yeah, this is fine. Like the powder's not falling off. It's a little gritty still, but it's not falling off. So you can see the difference right there of fully cured and not fully cured. So we're gonna transfer them real quick. We got some scrap shirts here that we're not using anymore. We got a Gildan Performance, right? This is the one that feels like a t-shirt, not that like, you know, nice moisture wickening uh, one. I forget what the exact model number is of it, maybe 8,000. We got this on 300 Fahrenheit, 30 PSI in eight seconds. So now we're doing, technically doing the performance, I should be probably 280. I like to do polyester at like 270 to 280. But let's just see what happens with this. You know, depending on what your garment is, that's what's gonna determine your temperature and pressure settings. If I'm doing a, a cotton hoodie, clearly I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a higher temperature or even just a cotton shirt. I'll be 300 to 315 where that polyester, like I said, let's see. Nice, easy peel right there. It looks good. We have a very, very, very minute white of when it got really a tiny a point, but that's probably because it just didn't get in any powder on it. So I just need to just thicken that line up a little bit. Normally with DTF, it's recommended, right? a one point line. So that was probably like a half a point, but everything else peeled up super smooth. Just gonna press this one over here just for, just for fun. Now me personally, I like to hit twice. I like to put this bad boy on here and I like to hit it twice. Let's peel this side. We got to peel, same exact thing. Now this one just won't wash as well. And then we'll look at what, how the print looks itself. So there we go right here. This is the Firebird Instant Hot Peel. Okay. The white looks pretty good. I probably could go up one more level. The setting that I have, I'll even show you on the screen of what we did. With the GTX software, we did a four highlight and a two mask in eco mode, right? So that's less ink. So what I would probably do, because this is a hot pink polyester shirt, I probably will go to a five highlight, but the white's, the white's, still, the white's still very good. I mean, a customer's not gonna say anything, but because of the hot pink, I may go to a five. But the main thing is one, the yellow, we like it right? You saw that you could tell it's cured. And then two, you saw how easy it peeled. And like I said, we do have these like thin lines here. None of them are peeling up. So this Firebird Instant Hot Peel is definitely legit. You can also peel it cold, but why waste the extra time, right? So if you want to try it out, clearly you go to firebirdinc.com and try out. They got the powder there too. You could use your powder with it, but they got sheets and they got rolls. So there you go. If you got any questions, comment below or hit them up. Thanks for watching the video and best of luck with your DTF.